Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. So it's actually Sunday on this review. Uh, I did a few, quite a few reviews yesterday, so they're catching up. But uh, you know, you want a drink, you have a drink, don't you? So today I'm reviewing this fella, Insomnia. And uh, it's funny because the moment I wake up, I'm actually pretty stressed. So I can't go back to sleep anyway. And it doesn't help when you've got a 10 year old who jumps in your bed in the middle of the night. But, uh, so this is Staplefords Brewery, Scribblers Ales. So we'll pull it out and then I'll talk about them. Now I bought, ooh, a little bit of a gusher there. Is that eager to see me? It jumped out of the bottom. And uh, it is a clean glass, just in case anybody's asking. Yes, I actually washed it out yesterday. <laughs> uh, so, while that does what it does, lovely aroma coming from it. So, these fellas, Scribblers Ales is a real ale craft brewery based on the Derby slash Nottinghamshire border. As you may have guessed from the name, we are just as passionate about books as we are about the beers we brew. We have so much fun making up the names of our beers as we do making them. Well, I suppose it is an interesting thing to do, isn't it? We began commercial production early in 2014 after spending most of the previous year on research and trial brews. Oh, God, that must be interesting. And maybe not so interesting if you, if you brew something that's dodgy. We have worked closely with camera members and other supportive brewers to produce what we believe are a classic range of good quality brews with our distinctive flavours. Our five barrel Staplefoot Brewery is currently capable of producing ten barrels a week. So, Insomnia, a rich, strong, coffee flavoured stout. I did get the coffee straight away on the aroma. 5.9%, so a nice uh, drop of something. So, um, I've been busy all day. Woke up at seven. Went downstairs, filled up dishwasher, filled up the washer, no, no, didn't fill up the washing machine, cleaned the kitchen, washed the wife's pots that she left when she was baking cakes the day before. Get the uh, downstairs toilet to spring clean, the outside by the back door spring clean, emptied bins, went in the kitchen, wiped surfaces down. Um, mop floors, hoovered. Then when the wife come home, did the hedge on the back garden. We went to the shop, come back, put a new light on the front, you know, a PIR light, because our old one broke and uh, put a new light on. Don't know if it works yet, because it's in dark. Um, so I put a bulb in, but I'm not sure if the bulb's working or not, so at the moment we don't know. Or if I've wired it up wrong. We'll soon find out, I suppose. So it blows up in the night. And then she got conned me into putting six new blinds up. She's got these big wooden slatted back. We had Venetian blinds before, uh, plastic ones, but then fucking things break that one out. But now we've got these big Venetian, uh, big Venetian blinds with wooden slats. They're a lot more hard wear and come with a nice pallet, uh, pelmet as well. They look good. And uh, yeah, I've just done that. Six of them. And you know, some of the issues you have drilling. Some you drill it into brick, you put the wall plug up, obviously the drill's the right size, you put the wall plug up, you're screwing away. And then next minute, fuck me, you know, you've got no traction. And I'm to piss about putting different wall plugs up, got many different types of wall plugs. Bigger screws and uh, eventually all of them are up, all of them are 100% solid, because I don't want blinds falling down. I've had it before. Yeah, lovely coffee aroma. Oh, obviously, black in colour, off-white head, and a decent sized head as, as well. So it's got 5.9% on the front and 6% on the back. God knows what's going off there. My second beer from these fellas. What was the other beer that I had? I know I had another one. Let's have a look. 
just go back on the page. Beyond Reasonable Stout was the other, the other one I had. But they do a massive range. So I'll go through some of the beers they do. Stapleford Tart. Cold Gold. Insomnia. Beyond Reasonable Stout. IPA. Rebecca. Dark Lord. Ra. Sweet Sunshine. Moonshine Craft Pale Ale. Mango IPA. And Best Bitter. So a good range of beers. And they're based in Stapleford. Oh, that's nice. Just goes down a tree. You know, after you've done a, a long day. I mean, you're supposed to rest at the weekends. I don't know what resting is these days. But, you know, I mean, now we're thinking about doing... Um, we keep up that round. So when it takes when it takes automatically generates a screenshot, um, it gets that in. Although a lot of my screenshots, it always seems to catch me when I've got my teeth out and going. And uh, yeah. So yeah, the weather's not been too bad today for a change. A couple of rainy spots. Managed to get some washing dried. It's getting to that time of the year again where you don't want washing in the arse. You don't want to be putting tumble dryers on because they cost too much. So utilising the, the decent weather um, is key really. You know, and obviously saving yourself some electricity. Um, I mean, wet clothes in the arse don't smell that great. Luckily, we've got a washing machine that spins them nearly dry. But uh, even so, you know, you get a shower of rain and that, that knackers that up. Obviously, somebody at the back of me is having a bit of a party. I can hear some strange talking. Somebody with a bit of an high pitched voice. forward to the work week and I hadn't said that for a long time you know actually looking forward to work I did at the start of the last the job I left and uh, it didn't take me too long to realize that I'd already dropped a bollock about a month in um, Yeah. Whereas in this job, I'm working more on my own. But I don't feel like I did in the last job. Uh, I'm working on my own. But it's this, the positivity all around. You know. And, um, it's, um, it's really warming. I'm even bringing work home and doing work at home, like growing plants, repotting plants, and uh, and that's the sort of person I am. I want to put my stamp on it, even if it costs me a bit of money to do it. I'm still getting paid. I'm still I'm still in a fantastic job. You know, these are all things that one being in a job at the moment is key for most people. To enjoying your job is key. You might as well enjoy your job because you ain't going on no fucking foreign holidays this year. And uh, I can't see us next year getting away. I really can't. It's a case of putting the money in the bank and going spending it on a car or something. Going and getting a, you know, part chop in the car in and uh, going and get another car. Or just uh, using it on a British holiday. Um, and, you know, I might even look at some of these sun holidays. Um, short breaks away. And uh, do some of that. You know, go where there's a theme park or where there's a brewery. I'm not daft. And, uh, you know, take the wife and go and do a brewery tour. Hey, she'll love that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, she won't. No, no. 
that would be a bridge too far. Although, I've gone to a Cake International show two years on a run, but luckily enough, this Cake International, so you look at these fantastic cakes, and you've got, I've got to say that some of the cakes are fucking amazing. How they do it, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, my wife's good, but when you see some what some of these people do, you think, wow. But I think she could do it anyway. I just think that uh, the time involved to piss about doing it would be, it wouldn't be productive. And she's too busy anyway. She's making cakes like one o. Spent the whole day till gone ten last night making cakes, and I was busy getting having a drink and uh, doing plants in the garden and whatnot. And then today we've been putting blinds up all day. All good fun. But the blinds do look good, so. Oh, so did I, Paul. Oh, let's not, be, let's not be wasting beer. You know, they can't be doing that in this day and age. Good beer, can't go to waste. So yeah, my second beer from Scribbler's Ales. Um, and uh, another decent beer, got to say. And uh, I'd love to, you know, go round some of these breweries. And uh, even if they don't do so-called brewery tours, you imagine taking the camera into the brewery, speaking to the people. Um, it's something that interests me. And as the channel gets bigger, you know, it's interesting, not just for me, but it's interesting to showcase breweries, to see around the breweries, and uh, when, when obviously there's not too many people there, just talk to one, like the main brewer or the bloke in charge and get their vision. Because we've all got a vision in life of what we want to do. And if you haven't, get one. You know, you want a vision. You, you want to be positive. You, you, you want to make a statement in life. In the job I'm in, I'm, that I'm now in, that I'm given free roam to make a statement, to produce, you know, to do the best that I can, to excel, uh, to bring something that they've not had since they've took over the place, um, to bring a garden back to former glories, but not only to bring it back to former glories, but to, to bring something that will, you know, at some stage, when it reaches the potential that I want it to reach, to see it, you know, that TV cameras come round and say, look at this place, the, the regeneration that's gone off. And uh, that's my goal, you know, it's, uh, it's could be, gonna be a long while doing it, but um, on both sides, I haven't even seen the other side, so I don't, I, I don't even know what I'm walking into there. And again, you know, it's it's mouth-watering. Yeah, sad bastard, aren't I? <clears throat> now, obviously, we've had all this lockdown. Christmas is coming soon. Fucking okay, no, hell, not far. It's only it's end of August. It ain't far. And you get that conundrum with your wife. I mean, we've been together now. This is... Um, 22 years married this year. Got married on the 11th of July, 1998. The clock's on the wall. Um, and you used to be able to see it. There you go, there's the clock. Just there. And uh, one of our more astute um, people who watches the channel says, do you do your beer reviews at the same time every day? I says, no, no, no. He says, the clock's broke. It's been broke for years. But um, it needs a clean, actually. But someone got it for us. And I don't suppose it'd be too hard to get the, re the back replaced. Because it's only that thing on the back. And, uh, you know, get it replaced and uh, get it working again. Ooh. I mean, I've been lucky. I've not been looking a lot of things. I've not been looking a lot of things in life, but I've been looking at the the the, uh, the you know the woman I chose to be my wife, or well, we both chose each other basically. That you know, she is so understanding about anxiety, and we work to go together so well, and uh, we're 
pretty much perfect for each of us. We are not perfect. God, no. No. I have a battle going on in my head that even now I still suffer anxiety. But I know I'm in a 20 times better place than I was even a month ago. And uh, once I think once my brain gets used to this new job and gets to enjoy it and really enjoy it and uh, then, you know, life will be so much more simpler. It's an interesting, it's, in, it's, it's such a, such a change. And I've got a review to post from the other week when I was in, a, in uh, quite a, the doldrums, shall we say. And um, you just find Scribbler's Ale site. Yeah, and uh, when I post it, I'm going to put a little side note saying that please don't, this was from a month ago because um, the difference, and I'm, I'm going to have to watch it first before I, I post it because just in case, um, you know, it, it's too much. Contact us. Ah, Richard at scribblersales.com. I'm looking to see if they sell online. It doesn't look like they do. It's a family run brewery with three generations working hard to give you the best in drinking pleasure. Can't fault that, can you? And what, what a cracker of a little bear it is. I mean, my perfect thing would be to, um, obviously, you've got to win some money first. Because, you know, I wouldn't take a loan out because I, I'm not brave enough to do that. So I'd need to win the lottery or something. And then set an amount aside that I wasn't worried about. You won 10 million on the lottery. If you was to waste 1 million on, on a, like a micro brewery uh, project or micro pub, and then I'd employ all my old friends from Sainsbury's um, that worked on BWS, uh, the Beers, Wines and Spirits Department, because they have a genuine passion. And when you've got someone with a genuine passion for beer and wine, uh, they can talk, you know, and um, get in, you know, go to the breweries all around Nottinghamshire and get in the very best beers and did have a good relationship with all the breweries. And the fellow I got this from, um, I got this from a venture beer. He does that. He goes round to different breweries, and he's got. For me, his job's a cracking job. Okay, now if ever if ever there was a job that I'd like to do, it would be doing his job, and going around delivering beer, picking up beer, and uh, you know, what a job. And interesting as well, chatting to people, and uh, you know, all very good. So this beer, back to the actual beer, because that's the part of the review, isn't it, you know. Lovely coffee flavour throughout. Um, nice roasty toasty on the stout. And uh, very drinkable and re-drinkable. It's 5.9% but, my God, I can't tell it's 5.9%. Um, going down lovely. And after all day's work, what's not? You know, you've got to have a beer, haven't you? I'm doing another review in a minute. I've just got to be careful I don't overdo it because what did I drink last night? Oh, I drank some bloody um, homebrew that's been going for a year nearly, what, about 10 months now. And uh, I was pissed as a fart last night, fell asleep, as you do. Woke up great though. But uh, yeah, it's not good when the wife keeps giving you daggers. Although she does know that I'm struggling, but a little bit. So, again, a quality beer. And if you've never heard of these people, because obviously this is local to Nottingham, and I've got to be honest, hand on heart, I've never heard of Scribbler's uh, Ales. 
I do now, obviously. And thanks to a company called AdventureBay.com, who do deliver nationwide, but they also deliver for free if you live in Nottinghamshire and certain parts of Derbyshire and Leicestershire. But um, yeah, um, well impressed with so many local breweries. You know, you've got to love the fact that there's so many people churning beers out, making a bit of money, surviving in these in these times, and uh, you know, bringing out interesting beers and beers that taste good as well. This does. Out of five for me, four point four out of five. A very nice coffee stout. Right, I'm ready for another now. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers.